upstairs and one room downstairs because people were moving in. And, well, not the room upstairs, just he just wanted to repaint it. And, but people was moving in downstairs and he wanted that painted. And I was like, okay. He said he would supply everything. And this was on Thanksgiving, okay, when I painted these rooms. All right, it was Thanksgiving of 2021. He got me all the stuff and you want two rooms painted, but he gave me two cans of paint. And okay, yeah, one for each room, right? Have you ever painted a room or painted anything or painted over wallpaper? Because one room had was wallpaper. Actually, both rooms had a bit of a wallpaper on it. You need one coat, right? And then you also need another coat. You need several coats to cover up wallpaper because he didn't want me to rip off the wallpaper. It would be too much. So painting over wallpaper, unless you want it to be see-through, you're gonna see through the paint and see the wallpaper. You need several coats. You need a primer and you need several coats. So he gave me two cans of paint, I needed four. And he gave me no primer, but the paint had primer in it. I had to go to Home Depot and get more paint. <laughs> if you've ever bought paint, in your life paint is not cheap for the paint and all the stuff that i need i need new brushes i needed two cans of paint and uh the roller thingy to put in it and the stick to like do it long ways all of that was over a hundred dollars and for some reason my car was not working in the store and i was so embarrassed don't you hate when you know you got money and you go to the store and you decline why is it declining that has happened to me way too many times and it was always because i didn't have a, a a higher spending limit or i spent too much and the bank is like uh, is this you because is this fraud and i'm like it's me and an emergency happened and i had to spend this much hey we just want to make sure that this isn't fraud and it's really you spending 700 800 900 thousands of dollars just today can you just unblock my account please so i can get through life that i'm going through right now so <laughs> that's happened to me way too many times so i don't really know the issue i can't really remember what the issue was at the home depot but my boyfriend had to pay for that paint right so and i told him as soon as i figure out my car i'll give it back to you he never let me give him anything back i felt bad that he had to pay for Something that I needed to do, you know? But at the same time, my property manager should have had it done. He said he would reimburse me and then I would give it back to my boyfriend, but he never did. And I just left it alone because my boyfriend left it alone. I was so annoyed that day. Several things went wrong that day, all right? There was like a glass table. He gave me no ladder to work with. And so I had to stand on the table. Now I know the inside was glass. All right, I have a brain, <laughs> a thought, you know, <laughs> that I would be smart enough not to stand on the glass, which I didn't. I, but it was like glass in the middle and then there was like uh, wooden, it was just the rest of it was wood. All right, sturdy wood. I stood on this table. This is a table that the old landlord has left behind. There was some things that she took and there's some things that she left. This was a table that she decided she just didn't want so she left it there for them she left several tables there for them she just didn't want i remember in the past standing on this table to replace light bulbs for my old landlord so i knew it was sturdy you just had to not stand on the glass part <laughs> okay because that's all it was it was just a thin piece of glass and then the rest was sturdy wood so i was like okay but on it plenty of times. Stand on the wood parts, Beverly. So I'm over here painting, stand on the wood. And then I lost my footing. Stepped one time on the glass. And nothing happened. I was like, hmm, okay. All right, all right. So I just lost my footing. I went back on the wood. I was reaching really high. I lost my footing again. Stepped 
both feet on the glass. I fell right through that. I already had back problems. Back from back like years ago, like 2008, being a housekeeper, I fucked back up. I fell through this table, y'all. And I thought I saw my life flashing before my eyes. <laughs> my feet is over, like hanging over the wood part, whole body in the table. Have y'all ever seen like movies or horror movies where people falling through glass tables or glass anything falling through the table? That's what I look like. But I was still Plus, Mana was wearing, because it was Thanksgiving. I was wearing my best outfit. <laughs> I was wearing my best outfit. The outfit that I, one of my best outfits that I like. Because it was Thanksgiving. I went to my boyfriend's for Thanksgiving. Literally, painted a little bit. Went to Thanksgiving. Came back. Finished painting. Didn't change. Nothing. It was like I was wearing pants and a nice blouse. My favorite, one of my favorite pants and a nice blouse. To this day, I still couldn't get the paint out of my pants. And I don't want to throw them away. <laughs> I washed them several times. I tried scrubbing the hell out of them. Scra like scraping the hell out of them. I'm going to probably look up a video on it. Really something. But I can't bring myself to throw them away because, first of all, they were very expensive. I had a really nice blouse. That didn't get no paint on it. Just the $70 pants is <laughs> ruined. And I still wear them. I don't care. I make it, I, I act like it's a fashion sense. You know, it's just a fashion. It's, yes, paint on pants. It's just, it's all the rage now. Y'all didn't know? I'm not throwing them pants away. I ain't even had them that long. I ain't even had them a year. No. Okay. So I fell right through them, got paint on the pant on on one side of me on the pant leg part and I was so I cried I cried I was so sad and plus probably cried because my back <laughs> my back was hurting too and I, I was just so angry at the property manager because he did not provide me with a with a ladder to for safety and like I said it just kept getting worse Cause like I found out, first of all, I found out I went to Thanksgiving with my boyfriend's family, meeting them for the first time at that time with paint in my hair. My boyfriend was like, what's that in your hair? And I was like, what's that in like? It's paint! Luckily, it was a wig and it wasn't really my hair. And I told, yeah, I told him, I said, this is a wig. I have wigs that don't look like wigs, okay? They don't look like, they don't look wiggy. I don't like wigs that look wiggy. I just don't. I like wigs that look like it's growing from your scalp, okay? So I told him, I said, this isn't my hair. So I'm, I'm chilling. He's like, you're funny. <laughs> Cause he really thought it was my hair growing. It was like, it looked like it was growing from my scalp. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how wigs are supposed to be. Like it's growing from your scalp, okay? These girls with these heavy ass, um, edges they be having a heavy ass edges and it just looks like a wig i don't go for that i don't go for that have you ever seen a, i'll probably post some pictures of me with some wigs you won't even you don't even know that it's a wig okay um if you're not really all that into wigs and don't know shit about wigs you would think it was my hair um yeah i went to thanksgiving with, with, with paint in my hair yeah that happened and then i came back and fell through a glass table keep in mind that table was never the new people's table, the new owner's table. It was the old landlord's table. Keep that in mind. There was shattered glass everywhere, so I had to get that up as best as I could. And I finished painting, and then I had like a tarp, AKA old shower curtains. I kept old shower curtains, and thank God I did. Keep your old shower curtains. Don't throw them out. Um, just wash them, you know, while they're hanging up wash it let it dry and store them away because you never know when you're gonna need to paint your house or paint something or do a art project or whatever those are gonna come in handy okay so that's just a tip because why pay for a plastic tarp when you can just use the shower curtains the old shower curtains you know what I'm saying so yeah I didn't have to buy a tarp and Home Depot or nothing like that. I had several shower curtains, so I used 
several shower curtains and I just taped them all together on the floor so I didn't get nothing on the floor. When I fell through the table, paint splattered everywhere. And once I finished painting and I got all the glass up, I noticed that they have put this beautiful royal blue rug. Now, blue is my favorite color, and this was gorgeous. This beautiful, round, really big, round, royal blue rug in the bedroom. I was like, this is gorgeous. And then I was looking, and there was like a spot probably like this big. It may not seem like that big, but looking at it on a rug, it was pretty big. And I was like, okay. So I got the paint up as best as I could. I looked up a YouTube video on how to remove paint off of rugs. And I found acetone, acetone, which is in nail polish remover. Another tip for y'all. If you don't just have pure acetone lying around your house uh, to remove your fingernail, fingernail polish, then fingernail polish remover does the trick. It gets paint off like magic. Cause I only had a little bit of nail polish remover left and if I went to the store it would have dried and it would have been 10 times harder to once it's dry you got to do it when it's wet okay you have to act fast okay so I did what I could I sent pictures to the property manager of the table and I told him I got all the glass up and I, I did get some paint on that rug but I got all the paint up Sent him before and after pictures of the rug. Sent him before and after pictures of the table. <laughs> and he seemed like he was annoyed. Like he just, he did not care. First of all, he did not care about my safety. He never asked me not one time if I was okay when I told him I fell through the table. He never asked me if I was okay. He just seemed annoyed. At, like, because first of all, he took forever to get back to me. Okay. And then when he did, he just was like, uh, so what are we going to do to fix this table? And I'm like, like, you're not even going to ask if I'm okay. I'm doing a job for you and you giving me shit the whole time. I was like, you know what? I was like, you know what? I'll figure it out. I'll figure out how to fix the table. So I figured it out. Went to Home Depot. I got some glass. Like I took measurements of the table got some glass cut to that table and then I also got like a thick maybe like a two inch thick board cut to the same length and I super glued it with like Gorilla Glue all around the table and it looked better than it did before and fixed the table even though the table was free and it came from the old landlord and it was not his property until they it was his the owner is his wife until she bought it it became her property i went ahead and fixed it because i did break it i went ahead and fixed it not cost money didn't cost as much as the paint and materials and shit but it still cost money that i was never reimbursed yeah i painted it now the painting process he was gonna give me a hundred dollars for the upstairs and a hundred dollars for the downstairs to paint these rooms it took several hours to paint room I don't know if y'all like I said if y'all ever painted room it took like two and a half hours each room to paint because I was doing several layers and I just had my music going my plays my playlist going and yeah so I got it done in several in a, in a couple of days or whatever and instead of him giving me two hundred dollars I was like you know what just take that credit and add it credit to my rent and take it off the first month's rent because I'm just going to give them that money back through rent so um, I just said take it off my you know add it as a credit for my rent and he said okay didn't ask me to do anything else that was um, that was it and so I started noting like okay he's bringing people in now and then when I finally finished the upstairs room he told me he wanted me to rent out the upstairs which would be I would have access to all those rooms right and the kitchen and everything upstairs, the, the bathroom, everything would be mine. And then the bottom people would have their level. He brought someone up upstairs to view that room that I had previously painted. And I should have known better because why would you have me paint an extra room 
if I'm just gonna be up here anyway and you're not gonna bring anything anyone else because when he wanted me to paint downstairs it was because people were coming in so I should have known painting upstairs because people are gonna be coming in but I just went off what he told me you know and he told me he he wanted me to have the upstairs and somebody else to have the downstairs I found out later people downstairs from me was paying over a thousand dollars to live below people and they had two two kids and I was like it was like eleven hundred dollars like eleven twelve hundred dollars that were paying and I'm like is everybody just stupid like are you just are you just, you cannot be this dumb like you have children and you're choosing to live below people several people are above you you don't have a house to yourself and you're paying over a thousand dollars do you not know that you can literally get 700 800 even 900 dollars places like two three even four bedroom houses and apartments like on your own where you don't have no well you have like like uh neighbors but they're not inside of your house they're outside they're outside of your space she's paying eleven twelve hundred dollars to live in a, in a house below other people roaming around all hours of the night like it's just stupid to i'm sorry that is just dumb to me i would not do that i would not do that no 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 he was showing that other extra room that I had just painted. I'm not a social person. I'm definitely anti-social. Like, I have my friends and that's it. I have my group of friends and the, the, the select family members that I choose to talk to and my co-workers and the people I work with and that's it. That's it. If I don't know you and I don't have no reason to talk to you, I'm not going to talk to you, okay? So, I'm getting ready to live with this person apparently. So they knocked on my bedroom door when I'm trying to sleep and said, hey, can you come out here and meet your new roommate? And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, no, because I was told I wasn't getting no room, new roommates. I was about to, mind you, the guy that was supposed to be leaving because he was a college student that I already had as a roommate was still there. So now it's three people. I opened the door, you know, cause I'm not rude person. I opened the door. Once I'm spoken to, I speak. I was raised, don't speak until spoken to. And I still have that mindset still with me as an adult. And so they knocked on my door, they asked me to come out. And it was the property manager and the new person that was coming in. Apparently he wanted to meet everyone so that he could get comfortable. So that he can get comfortable with us. I was like, okay. So I opened the door and I met him and I was all proper. And this dude had a lot of issues. I could tell right off the jump he had a, a lot of issues. He looked like he would be involved with like a, a, a my mother's side of the family type of issues. Like he just didn't seem right. And I can, I can spot that a mile away, okay? When a person don't seem right, I can spot that shit. There was a lot of stuff that I was seeing physically and how he was speaking to me. Yeah, he looked like he, he had some issues. And there's a lot of issues on my mom's side of the family. So I associate, that's why I put the two together. But like, number one thing I noticed is that he had like, he, he was doing this with his hands. He was like, And I was like, okay, don't know what's going on, but obviously he has some type of motor issues with his hand or whatever. He got the COVID shot. And apparently the COVID shot messed with his motor skills or something and affected him that way. And that's why he was over here doing this with his hands. But he did drive and he was able to like use, he said he was able to use his hand, but sometimes it acts up or something. And I'm like, and that's because of the COVID shot 
all right just let y'all know i never got the shot that's just me all right i trust my body to get through i did have covid i will say no over-the-counter medicine worked for it okay and i did not go to the hospital to get diagnosed i just knew i had it because i couldn't taste or couldn't smell for the first time ever i couldn't taste anything and i couldn't smell anything all i could taste was the salt or the sweet a little bit of sweetness a little bit of salt and things but i couldn't taste no flavor uh anything whatsoever and 50 percent of smell is taste and i could not smell it was like somebody stuffed cotton balls up in my nose and that's, it just felt cloudy like that. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but I could not smell anything. But some people don't get their smell or taste back, and that's unfortunate, but I got mine fairly quickly. Like, I could smell or taste on a Tuesday, I got my smell and taste back at least 80% by that Friday. And what I did was old factory training. If you look on YouTube, Look up olfactory training for your senses and you're basically having to re-teach yourself how to smell and how to taste and you, it's very easy. <laughs> it's very easy. It took me, you had to do it several times a day, multiple days until you feel like you can smell and taste again and it happened very quickly for me. With no other medication or anything to help me get through COVID, all I did was olfactory training. Apparently, yeah, he drove, he drove and he worked for a cookie place in the t in town and uh, he also did like DoorDash and Uber Eats and shit like that. And he, one point he bragged about like if somebody, if he goes, gets the food from like Uber Eats or something or DoorDash or Grubhub and somebody cancels, he keeps the food and it's like free food for him. And I was like... And then I went back in my room, okay, because, yeah, and I and I basically explained that I work at night, so you probably won't see me during the day, so don't take no offense if I don't come talk to you or say anything to you ever, because either I'm working or I'm sleeping or I'm at my boyfriend's place. I went in, in to my room and minded my own. I want to say he moved in, like, fairly quickly, either that day or, like, the next day he moved in. And in the past, when people would move in, if I had a roommate that, some, that the, the old landlord would let in, she would send me an email, let me know ahead of time that they were moving in. She would say if I could talk to them and let them know the rules, the rules of the house. And uh, like no overnight guests, everybody clean up after themselves because we're all adults. She don't rent to kids, um, stuff like that simple rules no smoking in the house either I don't smoke I don't drink I don't have no real health issues as far as I know about and I take really good care of myself so I don't want any of that stuff around me and I work out more now than ever three four times a week <laughs> and I haven't gotten a gym membership yet but I do work out at home so I want to reach a, a, a specific weight before I go into the gym and work out. So yeah, I'm just waiting to reach that goal and then that weight limit and then I'm gonna, whatever. Once I reach the, the weight that I wanna be, then I'm gonna head on and get a gym membership. But right now I'm just working out from home and I do, I walk every single day to and from work. So that's exercise in itself, but I do things on top of that to you know further speed up the process of losing weight basically. But Back to the old landlord. Yeah, she would ask me to talk to them and about the rules and this and the third. And I would have no problem doing that. Like it, it was a form of it was a way of like helping out my landlord in the past. So I was like, yeah, of course I would. That's how things would go in the past. But now we not. I'm not dealing with her anymore. Uh, I say dealing with her like it was a problem. No, I don't. I didn't have her as a landlord anymore. I had new people that I was dealing with. They were the actual problem for me. Uh, in, in all my years of being in that house, I, I never thought that I would have as many issues that came up in such a short amount of time. Like it was just, it was hard. It was hard to deal with. 
on top of everything I had going on personally, work, uh, trying to keep my relationship thriving, you know, stuff and things, you know. So, with this situation, I was not told about this person ahead of time. They just knocked on my door one day and wanted to meet me so that he can feel comfortable. And then he said he just wanted to meet the people that he was going to be living with because he wanted to feel comfortable. I'm like, in my mind, like, I'm, like I said, I'm not really a mean person, but I just felt some type of way about that. Like, we don't know you either, okay? The gist of it is like, okay, you, we understand that you want to feel comfortable, but you're coming into our uh, environment that we have been used to each other for over a year. And now you're coming in and we don't know you. You could be a serial killer, okay? You could be anybody. But we've been living here comfortably for over a year. All right, so forgive me, but I can care less about you feeling comfortable. We need to know who the hell you are. And, and if, so we can feel comfortable. Because we was already here, sir. <laughs> that's, how I'm, that's the only thing I'm getting, trying to get across. Like, we was already there. All right, so he didn't have to be there, but we was already there. Okay, so both you feeling comfortable we want to feel comfortable too so whatever it was already bumpy going into that so he moved in fairly quickly and <clears throat> i've always had this issue when i had roommates before it's not just him so i don't want to put it all on him but in the past guys it was always guys that would move into this place and there was only a couple times where there was women and they were no better than the guys in the sense of like they didn't want to clean up nothing they didn't want to take out their own trash they wouldn't want to clean up after themselves and they would leave shit everywhere this new guy was the same way but like 10 times worse because because he would always blame it on his like motor issues with his hand and mind you it was only with one hand you had a whole nother hand available hi hello Put your hand a no whole nother hand available to do stuff with um even if this one was you know one was acting up you still got a whole nother one you know what i'm saying so he would always say like something like he would take all the boxes of cereal out of the pantry or off the refrigerator or whatever and just scatter them on kitchen tables on the kitchen sink and just leave it there this looks like clutter everywhere i'm not big on clutter at all because you have clutter you have bugs okay you ever go to somebody's house and you see shit everywhere just know they got some type of bug or some type of something some pest around and i'm not big on that i don't like roaches i don't like bugs i don't like when i moved into my apartment I had uh, an issue with spiders. So I got, so I had an issue with spiders. I saw like three spiders the day I moved in and I freaked out. So I got these, these things right here. They're plugins, light barrier, this, this lights up. It kind of like pulsates. So it like a blue light and this ultrasonic. I know it sounds too good to be true, but I wish I could. If I could find out the name of this, I will link it down below. But I, I stand by this. <laughs> I stand by this, at least for spiders, because that was my only really big issue that I had was spiders. And this keeps away. Now on the box, it says spiders. It said any real pets. It showed a picture of spiders. It showed a picture of bed bugs. It showed a picture of um, mice and roaches and... Um, other stuff so like yeah I have this all over my apartment I have two of these in my living room one in my uh, no two in my kitchen two in my living room one in my bathroom and one in my bedroom so I have like six around at least six and uh, yeah the thing is you gotta leave them plugged in <laughs> I already have multiple plugged in everywhere so this being plugged out is for a little bit it's not gonna affect nothing 
Like, I, I stand by that brand. I don't know about the other brands. That's the, that's the first brand that I got and it actually worked. I moved in in February. I saw the three spiders, like, uh, sometime in February. I want to say like the dead end of February, I was starting to see those spiders. Bought those mid-March and by April, I seen nothing. And the rest of the month on, I haven't seen any. And it's been into the new year and I haven't seen any, okay? Not one spider, okay? So yeah, I definitely recommend those. And I want to say it was like $40 for six. Again, I'm gonna link it. I got it from Amazon. I'm gonna link it down below. So if you have like issues with spiders or pests or whatever, you wanna get that. But one thing you want to do is make sure that you don't have clutter everywhere, okay? Because clutter is bad. It's gonna it's gonna draw in, it's gonna give the, the pests that you know you have, or you're gonna get hiding spaces. And then you're gonna go pick up something, you're gonna see like a shit ton of spiders, and they're like, no, I can't, I can't do it. Can not do it. So before he moved in, I was very good at like keeping things clean. And I would even bring in cleaners from time to time when I didn't do it myself or I was too tired to do it myself. Cause if I didn't do it, guess what? It did not get done. And whether I had, I was there by myself or I had a roommate or several roommates, it just did not get done. You can avoid it. Don't get roommates. Don't get roommates. I know you might want to be like, oh, get a roommate, save mon money on rent, split the rent, have more money to yourself. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Get your own place. Okay, get your own place if you can't. If you can't, save for your own place. Do not get a roommate. Do not get roommates with strangers. If you get a roommate, get a roommate with a friend. But that might if go down. That might ruin your friendship. <laughs> Cause I actually roomed with friends in Indianapolis years ago, and that ruined our friendship. So just get your own. Save and get your own. All right, it's so better. It's so much better. I've been like I said, I've been living by myself for over a year now with no roommates i was living on and off by myself before but like this is officially me just me i'm not getting any roommates not happening no i've just been i've just been loving it so before i even came back on youtube i just wanted to just enjoy i just wanted to enjoy um my spot you know and just get used and comfortable to it and like I said, it's been almost a year. February 1st will be a year. I've already renewed my lease. So happy about that. And yeah, I've been loving it. I've been trying to, to, you know, do some things, bring some things in and make it feel like home and my little, like, little touches to it to make it look nice. Now, when I first moved in, oh, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. But when I first moved in, I was like, I knew I needed to like really sit down and fig get some measurements so I can figure out what furniture will fit in here. What, cause it's a one bedroom and it's not that big. It's very cozy, <laughs> it's very cozy. But it works for me cause it's just me, you know? And it works for me, it works for me. Like literally you come through my door, there's the hallway slash entryway and I have a table there, a little decor there looking real nice. I put some pictures up to show y'all. Then you make a left and there's my kitchen. And then it has two areas where you could come in and go out. And then there's the living room. And then there's a little, another little hallway that has the utility closet. And then in that hallway, there's like one side is the bedroom and one side is the bathroom. And I have another closet in my bathroom, my, my bedroom. And that's it. I basically just got a bedroom closet and a utility closet in here. And that's fine. That's all I need. And um, I I love it. It's, it's for me. It's just, it's just, it's nice for me. You know what I'm saying? And I have a little balcony too. Um, I guess I got the nicer apartment because it comes with a dishwasher. It comes with my own personal balcony. This apartment, this apartment complex is set up to where a lot of people share a balcony. But mine is on my own and a lot of the uh, uh, apartments don't have 
dishwasher. A lot of them don't, you know, there's very select few that do. So I was able to get that and my own standalone balcony. There is a washer and dryer in the complex that I share with everybody else, but there's three levels to this apartment and there's a, several washer and dryers on each level. So if I go to my level, on my level to use the washer and dryers and they're all filled up, I could just take the elevator, bump upstairs and use it or bump downstairs and use it. The only thing is no one ever wants to use the downstairs one because it's just nothing but cold water. There's no hot water for the downstairs, which I don't understand why, but the just the, the top level and the middle level is the only hot water available. And I wash my clothes in hot water like a normal person. Yeah, everything's really nice and, I, and I'm really grateful that I was able to get into this apartment. But while I was still at that house, uh, the new guy that was moving in with the, with the COVID-19 uh, side effects, let's just call him L because he was taking all types of L's, okay? But L was dirty dirty person okay he was leaving all of his stuff everywhere but after he moved in and i started noting how he was he was like the major reason why i started i, I got my stuff put it in storage and moved in with a friend until i moved into my apartment because i wasn't dealing with it i just it was so much shit going on i wasn't dealing with it it was him and then there was a mice infestation and then i was like no i was like and then the bumping rent and it's like no no so so uh, the bathroom, I just remember he would have rusty ass rags hanging up on where you put the towels at. Crusty ass rags, y'all. When I say crusty, crunch, how, how do you get a rag? First of all, I use body poofs. I don't like body sponges or a loofah. How you would get a hand rag or a hand, like a, how do you get it to the point where it's like, it's molded to like, like crunched up and it looks crunchy. Like it looks hard and crunch. That is just disgusting. That is just like, I, I want to throw up talking about it. And I'm sorry if it's too much TMI for y'all, but I'm really big on hygiene. I always gotta smell good. Breath gotta be on point. Brush your teeth, wash your ass, clean your things that you use to clean yourself. Like I'm big on all of that. And I feel like I, you know, you gotta be, I gotta be, cause I'm a woman. I'm a woman and women do things differently than men. This was a man that I was living with y'all and disgusting. He was just disgusting. And every time I would bring it up, can you get your crusty ass rags out of the bathroom? Cause this is disgusting. He would say, oh, but wait, right now I can't because my hand or my hand and I'm really having issues with my hand right now. And I'm like, he, I, I, I felt like he was like one of those people that was using his disability to get over on people or like to use people or to get over on people and make people sympathy, sympathize with him. And to get sympathy, the play in a sympathy card, but it wasn't working with me because I have people that I have friends that are in wheelchairs, you know, that have been in car accidents, serious accidents that have gotten them seriously injured. He can still use his hands. He can drive. He can get to and from work. He can, if you can pull boxes of cereal off the refrigerator and out of the pantry, you can put them back. The sympathy card wasn't working with me. Okay, this was a grown ass man that was just being lazy and using his slight disability. I don't want to make too light of it, but of his situation, because I really, I'm not him. But it just seemed like it wasn't as bad as he was making it seem. From the outside looking in, it didn't seem like it was that bad that he was making it seem. And this was the first case ever that I was ever hearing of a COVID shot having that type of a side effect where it affects your motor skills in only one hand. So I didn't even know if I believed that. And it's easy to just sit here and I really don't want to make light of it because he could have really had something going on. 
but I really wasn't seeing any proof of it. And every time I seen him around, out and about and around the house, he didn't, he wasn't doing this. I seen him do that one time and that was when I was introduced to him by the property manager. So I don't know if that's like a conversation starter for him. Like just, just to sit here and say, oh yeah, COVID shot bad. I don't even have a COVID shot. I never thought to get, I never wanted to get the COVID shot, but I'm not over here telling everybody that don't get it, it's bad. And this is what will happen to you if you do. Like, he just came off very uh, off to me, very off, okay? And I was able to see that for like a couple of weeks before I decided I didn't want it to live here with a, with a, a guy like this, okay? So, during that two weeks though, it was very hard to live with him. Like I would just tell the landlord or the property manager, I would be like, I'm just asking him to just tidy up a bit. I'm not asking him to be a, a clean freak, neat freak, like I kinda am OCD a little, but like I'm just asking him to do the bare minimum that he was already doing. Like I said, if you could take a box of cereal off, you could put the box of cereal on. You can put it back up. You can tidy up your mess.